Hey guys, what's going on? All right, so I'm craving some carne guisada. I'm gonna make some carne guisada tacos today. Uh, not gonna do it from scratch. I don't have the time, got a lot going on. What I am gonna use is this Fiesta carne guisada seasoning, okay? It's really, really good stuff. Fiesta, if you're not familiar with them, they specialize in Latino, uh, Hispanic, uh, meals and prep kits and this and that and this carne guisada is one of those uh, really simple really easy to use the longest part of the recipe is stewing the meat uh, stew the meat a couple of hours a couple of hour and a half two hours uh, to get nice and tender the way the way I like it anyway uh, yeah check it out it's gonna be fun gonna be easy carne guisada tacos fiesta carne guisada seasoning uh, give it a shot if you haven't check out the video I'd appreciate it. some thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, more videos coming soon. Uh, all right, stick around, check it out, it'll be good. Peace out, seasoning, carne guisada, thanks. All right guys, we're starting with two pounds of beef top round steak, boneless, that we're gonna cube up, or I'm gonna cube up, and get it all ready to go. Uh, basically, you want to cube them up into bite-sized chunks. I'm generally going to go with about one-inch cubes. Uh, again, you can make these smaller, bigger. It doesn't really matter, just as long as you get them tender. And we're going to do that here in a bit with the uh, slow, slow cooking that we're going to do. And you see, the easiest way I like doing it is just cut them in strip like this, kind of like you would fajitas, although you're not really going with the grain. Uh, it doesn't really matter because you're going to cube them up anyway. But again, a good sharp knife helps. And as you can see here, I've got this Dexter fillet knife that works really well. And again, one inch cube is what we're looking for. And uh, that's what we're gonna, we're gonna come up with. So get all these cut up uh, real fast. That's you gotta see, bite size right there, perfect. And it's really good to go. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, we're now gonna go with some extra virgin olive oil in this pan. I generally go for about three to four tablespoons. You can do vegetable oil or any oil of your choice. Uh, extra virgin olive oil, just what I had on hand at the time. And that's what you wanna do. You just wanna get it good and hot and get ready to add your meat in here. And as you can see, this is uh, rolling along pretty good. I just kind of move it around that pan a little more. But let's go ahead and get this beef in here. And as you can see, uh, just dropping it in. Going with the two pounds at a time, you can do it in stages if you want, but I don't see any big difference in it. I generally go with the entire two pounds at, at one shot and just kind of stir it up and, and get her going. Uh, it's pretty much uh, what you gotta do. You gotta brown it all on one side evenly. Uh, heat I'm going with here is about a medium heat uh, electric oven or stove top set on about number eight. And uh, we're just gonna brown all sides and let it, let it go to town. Generally, this takes about 10 to 15 minutes to get it all browned up before we kick it down and add some water to it. You can see here it's boiling in its own juices. And I'm going to add uh, some water here. Again, the water that I'm going to put in is just regular bottled water. Going to be uh, probably about uh, half a cup to a cup. Just want to kind of fill the, the pan or just over the meat to kind of boil it, if you will. Just kind of kind of just soften it up and slow stew it gonna lower the temperature on this to about a number four and uh, put the lid on and let it run for a couple hours or until the tenderness is where I like it. Generally about two hours is where it goes. Here we are about an hour and, uh, into it, an hour and 10 or 15 minutes or so. And as you can see, it's uh, kind of coming along. It's doing real well. Again, in its own juices, there's no spices, no seasonings or, or anything in it. It's just its own meaty, brothy flavor. And uh, it's coming along really good. It's still a little tough, definitely tough. You're going to get it tender. It takes generally about two and a half to three hours, depending on your oven settings and the meat you're going with. Here we are, two hours into the cook. Uh, and it's actually coming along really, really well. You can see the water is reduced down. I like to get a fork and just kind of test it and see how tender it is. And you can see there, it's about where I want it. It's gonna still cook a little after that and go from there. So it's fork tender, uh, smash the test there, as you can see, uh, works really well. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna get the seasonings in it now, here next with this Fiesta Carne Sala seasoning. And what we're gonna do here with this seasoning 
is mix uh, five tablespoons into three quarter cups of water, okay? Generally want to do this uh, one and a half to maybe two times depending on the thickness that you like it. Uh, I'm gonna go with five tablespoons here, three quarter cups of water, give it a good stirring. Uh, now in this uh, seasoning, there's onion, garlic, uh, bell pepper, a little beef flavor, of course there's a little bit of sugar, cornstarch and flour to help thicken it. Uh, it's really, really flavorful. You can even smell it as you're, you know, mixing it here. And I'm just going to get a fork and just kind of stir it up. Make sure it all breaks up evenly. You don't want any clumps. It's got that flour and they may want to clump on you a little bit, but just keep stirring it and it'll, it will dissolve really easy. We're going to get this and we're going to pour this into the pan with the meat and just kind of let it stir and then it will thicken up as it sits there. It generally takes about 15 or so minutes. Again, with the height or heat setting on about uh, three or four. So here it's mixed and ready to go. Going to pour that in there as you can see. That's a good, that's all your flavor and your seasonings right there, all in one. And I'm going to tell you, the, the smell and the aroma of it, it, just before you even put it in there is amazing. Get it all mixed up, stir it around. I should use a wooden spoon here, but uh, just use that fork. All there. Anyway, just that one time, stir it come back, maybe do it two times, maybe a third, but it depends on how it goes, how it looks as it thickens, okay? Here it's been about 20 minutes, and it's looking pretty, pretty good. It's kind of thickening up a little bit. Might have to add a little water to this, but uh, it's right where you wants to be. It needs, need, needs just a little bit more, a little bit more in there. So we're gonna get this covered up and uh, give it a few more minutes, see what it looks like in a bit. Okay, now it's been exactly 20 minutes after I initially put the seasoning in there. And as you can see, it's thickened up really well. You can see the colors changed. It's coming along and it smells awesome. That's kind of solid right there, guys. That's what we want. And that's it. Turn the heat off, let it sit, cool down just a little bit. And we're gonna make some guisada tacos. Got some flour tortillas warming up that I actually got from Tecate, Mexico, brought home with me. And uh, gonna make me some tacos there for sure. Gonna get them up with uh, maybe throw a little cheese on there as well. Uh, you can't see my my hand in there, but I gave it a thumbs up. It's uh, it's ready to go. Taco time for sure. All right, and to get this plated up, here we go. All right, guys, there you go. Carnegie Sala tacos. Gotta have cheese on your Carnegie Sala. All right. Looks good. All right, let's take a taste. All right, guys, Carnegie Sada. Was craving them. Got my wish. Can't go wrong with that Carnegie Sada seasoning from Fiesta. Works really good. Super simple, as you saw. Great. Let's take a taste. Give me some Carnegie Sada. Oh, and these tortillas, by the way. Look at that. These tortillas were fresh made in Tecate, Mexico. Brought them with me. Look at these. They are super thin. They're really good. Really, really good. All right, let's get to tasting this. I know it's good because I've made it before. See that? Yeah? All right, take a taste. Oh yeah, not bad if I say so myself. I'm gonna wash it down, a little, take out the light. There you go. New sponsor, take out the light, soon to be. I hope, I wish. <laughs> Carnegie Solid guys, get you some of that Fiesta seasoning. Go check them out. You can order it online. You can get it at uh, H-E-B grocery stores if you're in Texas. Get you some tacos, man. Get your coat on. Thanks, bud. See ya. Next one.